Hi guys, you are on wearm24.com and today we are going to assemble ZAE Blade A31+. First of all, we do not need to remove the car tray and therefore we go straight to the back core detachment. Because we don't have a car tray, we carefully go along the edge and detach the clips and the back cover itself. After that, we need to remove the battery. We have a small recess at the bottom. We gently pry at this point and remove the battery. Then we move on to unscrewing the screws in the upper and lower parts. For this, we use a Phillips screwdriver, one and a half millimeters or Phillips hash 30 Carefully unscrew the screws. We place them on a special surface. It looks like all the screws are the same, but just in case, they can be arranged in a certain order. So carefully remove all the screws. Don't forget to unscrew the screw that is covered by the warranty sticker. And we move on to detaching the middle cover. To remove the middle cover, it is better to use tweezers, because this type of cover is held not by clips, but rather by plastic hooks. Therefore, it is more convenient to pry and detach this type of fixation with the tweezers. So we carefully remove the cover and as we see on the cover we have contact pads. Then we move on to disconnecting the connectors. This type of connectors has a lock. First we need to release the lock and then we need to pull out the cable. So we unclip the locks on the connectors and pull the cables out of the connectors. We do the same for the rear camera. We pull out the cable and remove the rear camera. After that, we can disconnect the coaxial cable connector. And we need to detach the front camera. We carefully disconnect the connectors, peel off the thermal dissipating tape, and detach the camera itself and also carefully put it aside. Next, we move on to detaching the motherboard. As always, we need to find the right spot that we can hook and gently lift and remove the motherboard without too much efforts. After that, we can move on to detaching the subboard, but first we need to disconnect the connectors. We carefully unclip the lock, pull out the cable. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector and move the coaxial cable aside. And we can carefully detach the subboard. We gently pry up the edges, rock it slightly and remove the subboard. If we want to change the subboard, we need to unsolder the wires of the vibration motor. On the back side of the subboard, we have the microphone. So, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.